everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine and I'm here today with a new video for you and it's going to be all about skirt patterns. So I've never really been a skirt wearer. <laughs> I haven't worn them that much in my life and more recently I've been particularly into wearing jeans and tops but in the summer it is really nice to have a skirt and I've been really attracted to many of the skirt patterns that have been released recently and I feel like there have been quite a few released. I've chosen three that I'm going to talk to you about today and one of them I've made already, one of them I really want to make, one of them I'm not too sure if I will make but it looks gorgeous on other people. I'm just not sure it's for me. So let's get started. Just in case you're interested, nothing I'm wearing I actually made. This is just a ready to wear t-shirt. I've got jeans on. Let's get started. So the first pattern that I wanted to talk to you about today is one that I've actually made twice and it is the Sabina skirt by The Little Pomegranate. This is a free pattern which is brilliant so all you need to do is sign up to The Little Pomegranate's blog and newsletter and by doing that you will be provided with a link to download this pattern. So it is a PDF pattern, you would have to print it out either at home or at a copy shop and then you can cut it out or trace it out from there. This pattern is designed with beginners in mind. It is for woven fabrics and it comes in UK sizes 6 up to 34. So I would say this is a midi length skirt. Obviously you can lengthen it or shorten it to your desired length. It's a gathered skirt so it's got elastic around the waist and it's designed to sit at your natural waist. There is some shaping around the hips, it has lovely ruby pockets and then it's got a ruffle around the bottom so a lovely ruffled gathered section around the bottom to add a bit of swish. So the fabric recommendations for this pattern are light to medium weight woven fabrics and in, sorry if you can hear that noise, Ziggy. In the instructions it does talk through different fabric options for you and whether they'd be suitable more for a beginner sewist or for a more confident intermediate sewist. So if you went for something a bit more structured like a cotton poplin or a linen or a shirt in that would be more suitable for a beginner. It's going to be nice and stable but you are going to end up with a more structured skirt. If you want to go for something a little bit more drapey and fluid like a viscose then it might be a little bit more difficult to sew because it is a bit more shifty but you'll get that lovely swishy fluid look to your skirt. In terms of other things that you need for making your skirt you just need the elastic for the waist and that is it. Obviously your thread, your you know bits and bobs like that but it's just elastic and then your fabric. In terms of fabric consumption this pattern takes around two meters and for every size of the pattern it has that same fabric consumption recommendation. So obviously if you're making a slightly smaller one or a larger one you may have more or less fabric left over but you will need to start with around two meters of fabric. So as I said earlier I have made this twice. Both of my versions are in a viscose so I've got that lovely swishy fluid look. My first one I made in a size 10 but then I felt like it was a little bit too roomy and I had a bit too much fabric around the waist so my second version I sized down to a size 8 and I was really happy with that. And my body measurements actually put me between a 12 and a 14 so a 12 for my waist and a 14 for my hip so you can see that I have sized down quite considerably to get me down to a size 8 in my latest version. Now the instructions for this pattern are absolutely fantastic all throughout the instruction booklet or the PDF that you can view or you can print out. There are tips all the way through so every time a technique is mentioned there's a little box and it talks you through that what that technique is and why we're doing it. So I just feel like it's a really fantastic pattern for a beginner or somebody that's quite new to sewing clothes. This one's a really great one because you're going to learn so much throughout it. So that is pattern number one. Great that it's a free pattern. I've tried it, I loved making it, I love wearing it. I so far have worn mine with a little tank top, like a tight fitting tank, tank top, or I've also worn it with like a t-shirt like this, just tied up into a little knot at the front. So I show a little bit of my midriff between the top and the skirt. But I really, really love this pattern and I definitely think I'll be making another one soon. So the second skirt pattern that I think is going to be perfect for this summer is the Rani skirt from Tammy Handmade. Now, hands up, I had never actually seen this pattern or heard of this pattern until Monday night when I had a Zoom chat with my lovely friends Rachel and Ruan 
and Ruan mentioned it and I looked it up and I just fell in love with it straight away. Tammy Handmade seems to release really on-trend, cool, stylish, <laughs> that sounds really old-fashioned doesn't it? Stylish, trendy, um, just really cool patterns that look great and she styles them brilliantly and just makes me want to make all of them. I haven't actually made any of them yet <laughs> but I do want to. So the Rani skirt is again a PDF pattern, it comes in sizes 6 to 32. It's described as a trendy pattern that has a drawstring waist and two different length options. So it's just a slip on style, I think it's got elastic through the waist as well as the drawstring but I'm not entirely sure it might just be a drawstring. There is definitely elastic in the waist, <laughs> I've just seen the images. So it's got an elasticated waist, you can make it in two different lengths. So one of them is a maxi length and it's got these really dramatic side splits up the side, which I, obviously up the side, which I love. Similar to the splits in the Saltwater Slip by Friday Pattern Company, love those. And then View B is actually a shorter skirt with a bit of a ruffle. I'm not so keen on this one. It's the maxi skirt, which I'm really, really in love with. This is another one that is perfect for beginners because it's really straightforward. There's not a lot of fitting to do and there's not many complicated techniques in this at all. Tammy has done a sew along on her YouTube channel for this, which is great as well for anybody that wants a little bit of extra support when they're making this. It's designed for light to medium weight woven fabrics. So things like cotton, linen, viscose, you could make more of a dressy version in something like a satin or a crepe, but if you want it to be more drapey and fluid, you'll want your fabric to be a bit more drapey. So something like a viscose would be perfect. I also think something like a seersucker or a double gauze would look really cute in the long version too. So yes, I really, really love this one. For the maxi version, you're going to need around two and a half meters of fabric, which is quite a lot, but it is a maxi skirt. And then for the shorter version, you're going to need around one and a half meters. So I love the Rani skirt. I just love the green version that Tammy has made and she is wearing in the promotional images. I am a little bit obsessed with it. I just love how she styled it with a little black crop top as well. And yeah, I really want to make this one super soon. So this is high on my priority list for the next month. And the third skirt pattern I wanted to talk to you about today is the True Bias Maeve skirt. I saw this when it was first released and didn't really feel a huge interest in it but then recently I've seen people making it. Hayley from So Hayley Jane has made a couple and actually it's really really lovely. So again it's an elastic waist skirt so it's nice and easy to make. It's got a drawstring, it's got inseam pockets and you can also do some lining if you want to. And then you've got different ruffles, different tiers, different lengths that you can make this at. So one thing that does put me off about this is the amount of gathering that you would have to do because gathering is not my favourite thing. It's just not. I was making a dress last night with lots of gathering and I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> so potentially you're gonna to have to do a lot of gathering in this skirt depending on how long you make it. If you go for the floor length or the maxi length version, you've got three tiers all to be gathered. That's no fun for me. <laughs> so the different options for this one are just a simple gathered waist, knee length or just above knee length skirt. That's just one, one section. So you've got a front and a back. There's no ruffles or panels or anything. You can then go for a more midi length so you've got two sections or you can go for a maxi length which has got three sections to it so three tiers. Again the fabric requirements are similar to the other two patterns so light to medium weight woven fabrics and depending on how drapey you want your skirt to be will depend on the fabric that you choose. So rayon, viscose, crepe, satin, that sort of thing you want to get a really drapey fluid movie, movie, movable, swishy skirt. If you go for something a bit more structured like a linen or a cotton or a seersucker, you're going to have a bit more stability and structure to your skirt. 
So the size range of this does come in two different size ranges. So you've got the zero to 18 size range, and then you've got the 14 to 30 size range. So there is a big size range in this pattern, but you do have to pick between one of those size ranges when you make your purchase. It is available as both a PDF and a paper pattern. So for those of you that aren't keen on PDFs, this could be the one for you because it is available as a paper pattern. So as I mentioned at the start, this is probably the one that I'm not going to make just yet. There's still time for my mind to be changed because I do really love the versions that I've seen. But out of the three, this is probably my third choice. The Rani by Tammy Handmade is definitely the one that is right in here and I can't get it out of my mind at the moment. So until I make that one, I don't think I'll stop thinking about it. <laughs> I need to bump it up to the top of my sewing plans list, which is about this long. <laughs> so how do you feel about skirts? Are you a skirt wearer? Have you been making them? Have you made any of those patterns that I've talked about? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know which is your favourite. Perhaps you've made all three or perhaps there was one that you haven't heard of but you really want to make now. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd love that. And any interactions that you make would be awesome. If you want to support my channel further, you can send me a coffee. That would be really, really lovely. But just having you here and sharing this journey with me is wonderful. I hope you're all really, really well and I'll see you again soon. Happy sewing. Bye. I changed hand there because I've got a CrossFit injury on this one. <laughs> Bye. Just in case you're interested, nothing I'm wearing is uh, uh, the Rani. The. So the fabric recommendations for this pattern all are. Why can't I talk today?